so I'm, I'm recording this anyway just in case because once again it's another one of those things that there's just, there's just a lot of stuff that I want to talk about and um, whenever you feel like you can't talk about it with somebody else um, you, it, it sucks because you kind of hold it in and it's just something that you want to get out there um, I uh, I understand there's people who listen to me and I understand there's also people who probably know all of this about me already um, but uh, it's still one of those things to where I feel like if I talk to somebody about this it'll be like hey, this thing I want to do, look at this, like, it, before I get into it, I'm, I'm, I wish I would have said this before, but I was brought up in an area where any attention was bad attention. That was my understanding, and that is still how I view things. Any attention is bad attention. So me going, going, literally going up to somebody, texting one of my friends saying, hey, man, this is not a good thing to do. And I understand I need to break that habit. Sorry. And I understand I need to break that habit. And I, I probably will with time. It's just I'm doing a lot better about things. So, um... So to get really specific, and like I said, I don't want to seem like I'm begging for this, and I don't want to seem like I'm better than anybody else. But maybe this will come across of like how strongly I feel about this. So my my two goals, um, be able to create positive content that brings joy and happiness, laughter and everything, and having a job to where I can still continue to do so throughout my life. There are a few places to where I can kill two birds with one stone and have my job be to not specifically create content, but have a hand in doing so. Um, number one place on my list and what I'm shooting for right now like with everything that I have is oh god am I gonna fucking tear up because of this this is bullshit is rooster teeth um and um there's a whole bunch of reasons as to why and I guess that it, I mean, this is, the, I, I don't even know if any of you will ever see this, so we'll, I, I might as well just jump right into it. For those of you who do not know, Rooster Teeth is a production company. Just like any film production company, whatever. Rooster Teeth are the people behind Ruby, Genlock, and Red vs. Blue. It is... As far as me looking at it goes, like me just right now looking at Rooster Teeth right now, it is the first place that I've ever really found a community and really understood what a uh, what an online community was. Granted, like uh, like I said, I, I've been into I've been into Kingdom Hearts forever. I've been into Halo. Like I, I I'm into that stuff, but I don't have the community. Um, Rooster Teeth has a community based all around their content. Not only that, but the, the stuff that that their content is based off of. So like Red vs. Blue is Halo Machinima. So the people who play Halo and that branches off into people who play video games and Xbox and like all, all over. And, um, and with Ruby, it's anime. And from Ruby stems, anime stems, Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh, and like One Piece, and all these other, all these other things. Um, 
and it's like it is literally the first place that I've really understood like the community uh, it's like an online community and it is the only place to where I I look at the content that Rooster Teeth produces and everybody's interests is reflected in the content that they produce. As you watch Rooster Teeth content, you learn more about the people who work there. Not only the personalities, but the people behind the camera as well. Um, not, not as much as the personalities, granted, but you get the sense, and I get the sense, um, and granted, I'm not sure how true this is, but like everybody who, everybody in the Rooster Teeth community is in, excuse me, some way, shape, or form, have a has a similar mindset, has a similar, um, has similar interests. So, uh, going into the Rooster Teeth community, the way I think of it is, you go in there and you can, you are guaranteed to find somebody who is interested in either video games uh, animation in general whether it be cartoons or anime or like film and production obviously because it's a production company but there's other two things is like it's home for me because I'm a huge anime fan and video games have been my life since I can remember and, um, and my number one goal is to try and, and try and work there so bad. And it's not, it's not because I think it's going to be easy. If you watch their content and look at their content, Rooster Teeth as a whole, on its very surface level, you think that working there is a breeze. That all the employees do, especially the personalities, is just fuck around the entire time. I know how hard you have to work. I know what you have to do. I know what goes into making videos. I know what goes into the production of things. I don't know. I don't know exactly what they do on a day to day basis and how they do specific things. But for example, I the probably the biggest uh, apparently because I on its surface, the misconception is that uh, Rooster Teeth's Achievement Hunter is basically sitting around drinking and playing video games all day. I thought to myself of like, that's too obvious of a misconception that surely nobody thinks that. After talking to a few people, apparently that's a common thought to people who watch that type of stuff. And I'm not talking like the people who I talked to thought that way, but like they they realized or they knew they've seen it before of people thinking that way of like, oh, I could work there and it's just drinking and video games. It's like, oh, I'd love to work there just because of that. Motherfucker, I know what you have to do. I know, like, I know you have to, it's specifically talking about Achievement Hunter, I know you have to record videos and certain people have to be there for certain series. And you have to get certain videos done per week based on a schedule you already have. And there's so much stuff to edit. There's so much content that they produce that to edit. Not only that, but you have to, everybody has to, people have to be available. And time spent in one thing takes away from something else. And... I know editing something could take a really, really, really long time, almost to the point to where, like, 
it could take you all the way through the night and would work late and everything like that, which like is understandable. And even still, even if you're one of the personalities, you it's not just fun and games. You have to work on stuff. The personalities and everything, like the editorial office isn't their only isn't aren't the only people who do edits and stuff. Everybody who's a personality of Achievement Hunter does their own thing and has been doing their own thing. Gavin runs a whole entire successful YouTube channel called Slow Mo Guys. He does that and does Achievement Hunter. He's busy as fuck. There's a whole bunch of people in there that just like... I'll put it to you this way. So RTX basically happens and it's a convention for Rooster Teeth and all of his properties and brands or whatever. RTX happens over a weekend. How that schedule's set up, if you're a personality for Rooster Teeth and you have to go to this convention, or anybody from Rooster Teeth who works during the convention, who has to go to the convention to help set things up, you don't get a weekend. I, I, I understand that like you work from Monday to Friday the following week because Monday through Thursday is your normal job. Friday you have to sacrifice a day of filming of certain things or you have to sacrifice something during the week of filming something else to be able to go to the convention and then come back in on Monday after you've been three days at a convention and anybody who's been to a huge convention or anything like that knows how tiring they can be and I'm pretty sure if you're somebody who's there perform not only performing but also greeting fans and everything like that that has to be draining as well <clears throat> i know the amount of work that needs to be put in and like i said before i have the i have the passion and the drive to just to do it i want to do it so bad because just because i know that if i were to be employed there if i were to work there it would literally be me accomplishing both of my goals of like helping create content that brings positivity to people and brings people happiness and makes people laugh but also to be able to have a have a job that lets me do so and uh it's i know what it takes and the bad part is the thing that sucks for me is i don't have i don't have schooling I don't have a degree. I don't have a lot of experience in that type of field. Like I've been working in a body shop for I don't know how many years of my life and I literally have no experience in, no professional experience, no paid experience in editing or esports or whatever, like what, like the whole range that esports covers as far as a job goes is like I understand that I don't have any experience and I understand I don't have the schooling but god fucking damn it do I have the drive and the passion to do so and that's what I've been doing here like that it's I've been working at it ever since I knew 100% this is what I want to do and this is my the goal that I've been pushing towards I've I've been trying to I've been using I've been using the similar programs that they use um, I've been trying to um, to do more video editing um, I've been trying to do different types of video editing that I know that they do and the things that they might be looking for and it's it's literally just something that I, I I I feel that me writing writing a resume and writing a resume 
and writing a cover letter and writing just anything and sending it doesn't do justice to anything. Like, words can be written on a piece of paper or in an email or something like that, and you can read them, and that's all well and fine. But the whole thing is, you... It might just be me, but I can't, I can't express enough on a piece of paper or in an email through writing. The best way I can express anything is through verbal and visual or audio and visual like representations like I can talk your ear off I can I you can tell in my tone of voice that I have I I just the that this is the one thing that I'm most passionate about but writing it on a piece of paper is the same way as going like I'm really passionate about this and can easily be passed off as like, okay, that's just something that somebody writes. Like, no, you don't understand. This is literally what I want to do with the rest of my life. This is what I'm passionate about. This is what drives me. This is what I want to do. This is the thing. Everybody has the thing that they really want to do. And this is mine. And I'm willing to work as hard as I can to try and get there and I and I've lately I've been trying to and luckily I've been putting things in perspective to where it's only the third month of this year and the amount of stuff that I did last year with half like with literally half the month from like we'll say the destiny tournament in that chunk between between the Destiny tournament and the end of the year, I figured a lot of shit out. Met a lot of people, figured a lot of shit out. And it, it's actually carried over to recently to where me meeting people and figuring shit out. And I'm still doing that, but the thing is, is like, I've been... I've been I've been brought down by my own self doubts me me sitting here thinking oh what's the point it won't happen uh, because I'm me or whatever the reason whatever reason I had at the time of like I can't do this like there's why why me of so many people And now I'm in a better mindset, a more positive mindset of I'm not only doing this just to just to get a job, just to be like, I'm not only just a fan of Rooster Teeth and this isn't just a fan wanting to wanting to work for uh, the people because he wants the fanboy all the time. This is me literally saying that I can. I know I can improve and can succeed and thrive and help so much in in that company and do great things and it's just that passion that drive and also the drive of like I don't want to be here forever I would rather be other places because I've said it before like I'm happier everywhere else and and I've I've been to Austin briefly and I've seen I think one of the one of the biggest things to get my ass in gear was whenever I went down to Pack South I landed in Austin where Rooster Teeth is based out of and whenever I landed in Austin, I, I, um, 
Isakul and I uh, were driving to San Antonio for PAX, and she's like, hey, Rooster Teeth headquarters is just down the street. Do you want to go stop by? And I have a picture, and it's just... Wow, I didn't really think that would hit me that hard. Um, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> um, we, we roll up, and I remember... I'm in a I'll probably remember this for as long as I live, but I, I was literally embarrassed that we were there. That um because obviously like I I, I was I, I'm a fan and a fan driving up to somebody to like the 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 thing that they're um such a big fan of just like being there and I remember she asked if uh, if I wanted to stop, and I was like, nah, "Just, just keep driving." But I did. Holy shit, dude! I did end up getting a picture of stage five, which is one of the buildings that Brewster Teeth is based out of. If I remember correctly, and this may have changed, um, and I granted I'm not fully on the up and up, but stage five is one of the, is kind of like where everything the, the main stuff is held and then I do believe like that's where their broadcasting department is and um, all the main offices are and then uh, they have a, they have one other stages one other big hangar buildings that houses a few other things and then they have like a uh, they call it the bungalow or it's like a trailer or whatever the hell that holds a few more offices and uh, I remember I, whenever we were slowing down, I was like, I, I just want to get this picture. And I have a picture of stage five with the big, <laughs> with the big five on it. And, uh, afterwards, after we drove by and we had to do, like, we had to pull like a Huey because the road was being worked on or something like that. Um, We walked, uh, we walked into one of the restaurants where I could literally look out the window and see stage five from, from the restaurant and like it was right there. It was like it was within walking distance and it, it was just, it was just like one of the best, best feelings ever of like. But whenever I was sitting there, whenever we were there, I, I thought to myself of like, if I work hard enough, and I get to where I want to go, um, I could go there every day. And, and fucking love it and I'd be able to sit here and eat dinner eat lunch or whatever and look out the look out the window and be like yeah it uh it took me a while but finally here I'm and like think back on that and just be like yeah if I if I knew then what I know now then then uh it it'd be kind of funny uh, I'll, 
<laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't, I hadn't really <laughs> expect to get that emotional, huh? I'm sorry. Oh. God, I'm probably such an ugly crier. I can't even see, thankfully. Um, but yeah, like, that's... To just rant and ramble on some more. The other day, I uh, I woke up and I, I was getting ready to work, and I'm pretty sure it was subconsciously. Um, I don't remember thinking back on it, but I remember getting my car um, and pulling out of my driveway and starting to drive. And my immediate first thought was, um, uh, like where I was going, like where I where her. Uh, where work was wasn't the body shop was rooster teeth and I was like it feels ridiculously good going to work right now and it really sucks that whenever I get there it's not where I want it to be and it's like it, it just it was a different feeling that I never had before that I don't know if it was just it was a dream from for, from that night or or if it was just me, me just projecting of like, hey, listen, man, this daily drive could be literally you going to work at the one place that you want to be more than anywhere else. Um, so yeah, if <laughs> if. Uh, and this is this is one of the reasons why I, I don't know if I'll ever release this, but if anybody from Mercy Teeth ever sees this, um, seriously, just <laughs> give me give me a call, shoot me an email. I'll talk your ear off and. Like I said, I may not have all the experience that all the professional experience or the experience in general, whatever that you want, but God damn it, will I fucking work hard. Alright, I am gonna I better stop this before I before I start before I start fucking getting emotional again. I have to, I already am. Okay, I'm really, I'm really, really sorry about this. Um, God, do I really want to see, do I really want people to see me cry? 